We wrote one chorus together, and it was on the first, the first weekend of the summer tour we just did with Rascal Flatts this year. Um, Kelsey was off, and she came out on the road. And one night after the show, we had a couple of glasses of wine. We, just, we started, we started on this bit. She, I started singing this thing. She said something to me, and then I started singing it back to her. And she was like, "That's pretty cool." And then she sang the next line. I sang the next line. We're like. Did we just write a chorus? She's like, yes. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I'm like, all right, no worries. So that's sitting in my notes on my phone maybe somewhere. You'll pick it back up to finish some at some point, yeah. Just, if there's ever another couple of glasses of wine, maybe we'll get a. If there's <laughs> ever a couple of glasses of wine again, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are your favorite parts of being with a musician who gets it like you? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot that you don't have to talk about or explain, which I, I like. There's like a level of understanding of what what we each do that is sort of innate. And um, I also love the, you know, being able to bring a song home and share it with my wife, but and not just get a oh I love that or I don't like that, but more of a I love that or I don't like that from a a fan perspective, a wife perspective, but also someone that is a great, great songwriter themselves. You know, a very respected opinion. And um, she she has this way of saying it where like, she'll either love something or it'll be, oh, I'm not sure about that one. It's not my favorite. So you know that that's- And that's really like, you should delete that file. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, no, that, that, that's, you know, there's so many things, but um, you know, having that sort of understanding is probably the main thing, yeah. Um, when you're ever apart, do you, will you send her like voice memos or like this is part of a song that I'm thinking of or this is a lyric? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, all, all the time. I mean, I remember with this new song, Diamonds, I remember the day we wrote it and um, every day you write a song, it's like your favorite song you've ever written, right? That's why yeah. you write the song that day. But um, I remember that day sending it to her and saying, I think this one's pretty cool, question mark, question mark. Question mark. <laughs> and I texted her, I was like, just sing your song. And uh, she wrote straight back, she was like, this one's really cool. And so. When she reacts like that, I know we've got something special. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, there's little messages like, I think I like this one, like maybe. And she then... never says that. Mm -hmm. It's either she loves it or, no, no, I don't think so. Are you just as straightforward with her? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be. I feel like with anyone in your life, all the people that I work with like that, you know, if you, if you, you don't tell the truth all the time, then you never really believe the truth when it is, you know? If you don't say you don't like something, then you'll never believe it when someone says they do. Uh, if that makes sense. So yeah. um, I appreciate that sort of candor, especially sort of creatively, you know, in this kind of world of like, is it good? I don't know. Do you think so? Yes? No? Then move on. Kind of thing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, I read that uh, before you guys met, you interviewed her for a radio station. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, well, she, she came to Australia to, uh -huh. to host the Country Music Awards. Um, and. Uh, I'd, I'd hosted these awards a couple of times and uh, I was going back to Australia to host them a third time and they called me and they were like, so we're thinking about getting you a, an international co-host this year. And I was like, okay, cool. Who were you thinking? Do you know about this girl, Kelsey Ballerini? Huh. Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, so yeah, we, we kind of, it was like forced hanging out for a couple of days while we rehearsed for the show and then and then did the show and, and doing live television, as you probably know, is a very stressful experience to go through. And so um, sort of after going through that, you, you feel like there's a bond between the people that have done that together. And um, yeah, we sort of celebrated with some tequila and here we are. Besides getting back to Nashville and kind of chilling and working on your music, is there anything next year that you're really excited for? Um, I mean, honestly, mostly that. I mean, I, I love playing live. This this whole world tour that we're on right now and um, heading into the American dates now is the greatest touring experience of my life. And and I've, I've been saying that for two years, but it really has been like that of like, the, the tours are just, like, we started with Cole Swindell and then with Chris Young and Dan and Shay and, and then uh, Old Dominion, Dan and Shay again at Rascal Flats and then to this tour. And, and this whole two years has just been getting better and better. and so. I always look forward to that, but like you said, more than anything, I'm looking forward to, to being creative and, and sharing some of this new new music. Yeah, you just came off Australia and New Zealand, and now you're back in the US. Yeah. What's the difference between touring um, down under and here? Uh, it's funny, it's so similar. I feel like country music fans around the world have a bond, like there's a very, is a distinct similarity everywhere we go because we did the UK and, and some of Europe before that as well and Canada 
Um, but, but each of the countries sort of have their personalities a little bit too. And I feel like in Australia, you show up and the, the fans show up and they're like ready to be entertained. And then when you get it kind of rolling, they're having the best time ever. Uh, and I feel like American country fans show up ready. Does that make sense? <laughs> like there's like, ready three days ago. yeah, like they are, there's no, yeah, it's, it's like on from the minute you start, which, uh, you know, as a performer, that's like such a pleasure to, to play music for. What's your favorite song to play live? Um, I have this song on my album called Young Again, which is a big favorite. Um, but honestly, I, I mean, I'm so excited about this new single, Diamonds. It's It's got this really fun groove and it's brand new so it's it feels so fresh right now. Have you gotten it. to play it live yet? We played it for the first time in Canada when it came out last week and um, this is the first time in America um, tonight in LA. Was it fun to watch the fan fans react and maybe they hadn't heard it yet and then suddenly you're playing it live and they're like oh I like this. Yeah okay. totally you can spot the super hardcore fans because they know every word already and then like you can see people sort of going oh wow cool I've not met this one yet yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that feels tonight, but um, either way, I'm excited about it.